Hey guys, so I have uh, three Surefire lights that I've been using for a while now, uh, from oldest to newest. So I've been using these for EDC. Um, they're all pretty nice. Uh, I'd have to say the ECL2T is probably my favorite one now. Not just because it's the newest and brightest one, but also because of its size. It's really slim, <clears throat> fits in the pocket nicely, and it has a two-way clip that you can... Uh, you can put in your pocket head down or head up uh, which is pretty cool so first I started out with the 6px defender this is a 320 lumen version uh, pretty pretty nice light uh, pretty deep reflector for light this size nice throw nice and bright and what you get with this light is the strike bezel. So only one mode, just the brightness mode. It's sort of a self-defense light for civilian slash urban use. Has that clicky tail cap. And the strike bezel is actually pretty sharp. So it's actually a pretty nice uh, self-defense tool. And then I bought the uh, Fury uh, just because I wanted something brighter. Some with two modes. This one's the dual output. So first you click it on for 15 lumens and then you click it off and within two seconds if you click it again you get 500 again really bright really reliable light and the ECL2T what's special about this one is there's a pressure switch on the back instead of a clicky it's just um, press and hold for constant on you twist the light so what's cool about this one is you can half press for low and then full press for high. So anytime you can just press the button for instant high or press half for instant minimum, which is really cool. I thought this is a really ingenious idea. So the constant, you twist the cap, then you get low, twist it further, you get high. Um, but the one thing I've noticed about the pressure switch is that it uh it's kind of a pain in the ass to use every time you're using your light just because for most of the time i just want a constant on and then whenever i want constant on high which is for most of the time um i have to twist it kind of far which is a two-handed operation i can't just take the light out and click it on that's the only drawback to this light other than that it has a really cool tir lens it makes a really smooth beam uh, a lot of throw but a lot of flood at the same time really cool beam really useful light uh, the fury uh, the reason i upgraded it from this one is only basically because of the brightness this one's 1200 lumens versus the 500 on this one so this one is much brighter but at the same time the clicky on this fury is a little more i'd say practical than on the pressure switch on this one you can use this one as a, with the pistol as well which is which is nice because this one always turns on on the low mode. The one thing I do miss about or from from this one is uh, the strike bezel. So if this one had a sharper strike bezel, that would have been amazing. I know the uh, E2D Defender Ultra has a really cool strike bezel, but at the same time, it's kind of similar UI to the Fury. It has high and then low so i didn't really like that interface so i chose the edcl 2t so this is my new edc light pretty cool um might get a different one this might this one just might go in my collection but i do really like this light one thing i noticed with rcr 123s i've been using the phoenix ones um in this light i have the original ones but in the phoenix light once you start using it a lot, the light just kind of turns off in a, like you turn it on max and then you wait like 30 seconds, it just turns off for some reason. I don't know if that's just something wrong specifically with this, the one I have, or with all the, all the models, but that's one thing I noticed. So yeah, this is, these are the three I've been using for a while. This one I've had for four or five years. Pretty awesome little light. 320 lumens is bright, but, um can't really beat 1200 you can take this camping and it'll light up a trail you can you can still easily 
walk around at night with this one. This one's just more comfortable because of the brightness and because of the beam. That's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching.